Our objective within this lesson is to find a fraction of a measurement and solve word problems. For our first problem, we have one half of a pound equaling blank ounces. Now, which of these is a larger unit? Right, pounds is a larger unit. So we're looking at a fraction of a larger unit. We're looking at one half of a pound. We know that one pound equals how many ounces? It's 16 ounces. Let's rename this pound within our original equation as 16 ounces. So I have one half times 16 ounces equaling blank ounces. And so we have 1 half times 16, which is the same as 16 over 2 ounces, which we can evaluate to 8 ounces. So a half a pound does equal 8 ounces. Here I'm working with 3 quarters of a gallon equaling how many cups? Which is bigger? A gallon's definitely bigger than a cup. One gallon does equal 16 cups. There's 16 cups in a gallon. So, 3 quarters, let's express this gallon here within cups. And I know that one gallon equals 16 cups. So this is 3 quarters times 16 cups equaling how many cups? 3 quarters times 16 Remember, this could be used as repeated addition. We could go 16 times 3 fourths cups. 16 times 3 is 48, and that's 48 over 4. should be thinking of 48 fourths, 48 divided by 4, which does equal 12 cups. So 3 quarters of a gallon equals 12 cups. Here are two problems for you to try. Go ahead and copy them down and work them out. We know that one foot does equal 12 inches. We are going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. So we have two thirds times, and we replace this foot here with the 12 inches, two thirds times 12 and that was the inches. So that is also equal to 12 times 2 over 3. 12 times 2 is 24. We're talking about 24 thirds, which is also equal to 8. Two-fifths of a meter over into centimeters. We again are going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. So we have two-fifths of that meter. So we have two-fifths times 100 for centimeters. Now, if we look at that with a fraction bar, thinking about that there, all of it was 100. And then so um, two-fifths of it would just be right there. And so one-fifth of 100 already is 20. So two-fifths of it is 20 plus 20, which is equal to 40, 40 centimeters. Now you might have gone 2 times 100 equaling 200, divided it by 5 to also get 40 centimeters. But remember, there is always more than one way to think about and to look at a problem. 2 fifths of a meter does equal 40 centimeters. And 2 thirds of a foot does equal 8 inches. Check over your work. Make sure you labeled correctly. Here I have one last problem. We have 7 twelfths of an hour equaling how many minutes? We again are going from a larger 
to a smaller unit. We have one hour equaling how many minutes? Right, 60. So we have 7 twelfths expressing this hour as minutes. It's 7 twelfths times 60. How about 60 minutes equaling blank minutes. Working that out, I have 60 times 7 over 12, which is equal to 420 over 12, which I can actually simplify. 420 twelfths. I'll divide it by 2 in the numerator and denominator. That leaves me with 210 over 6. Divide it by 2 again to get us to 105 over 3. And then that I can go ahead and work out using a standard algorithm to know that that is going to be 35. It's 35 minutes. 7 twelfths of an hour is 35 minutes. This actually makes sense in that 1 twelfth of an hour would be 1 twelfth of 60, which does equal 5 minutes, and I'm looking at 7 of those, or 7 fives. 7 times 5 does equal 35. 7 twelfths of an hour does equal 35 minutes. So, again, we're going from larger units to smaller units, so you're going to need more of them. And you have to have your correct conversion.